Hey, what's up? This is the Dark Knight. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about some stuff that I learned recently about defense that I wanted to share with my YouTube viewers. Um, I know a lot of my viewers are um, really geared towards, uh, these videos are geared towards kind of newer players, beginner players. So those that are more advanced, you can watch these videos, learn, you can correct me if you want. A lot of you do. But um, basically, I'm trying to just share as much knowledge as I can based on what I know and hopefully help out not only my server that is still a new server, but also uh, some of the more experienced servers as well that may need to learn some things. But basically, what I learned recently about the T1 wall is, um, so here, here's the thing about the T1 mounted wall. If, you're, if you look at my troops... You're going to notice that early on I made a whole bunch of T14 mounted troops so I could kill like higher level bosses. And I'm still working on building my layers. So don't laugh. I'm working on these layers. Okay. It's bad. I know. Um, now, somebody told me, hey, make, make 150 million T1 or 100 million T1 mounted troops. Did some research on it. A shout out to uh, Red Evany on YouTube here. Uh, that said to make 150 million. So here's the thing with, with these troops. It works, and I'll show you a battle report, but I want to show you from my own experience in SVS recently what actually happens and what it's doing. Now, um, and then I'm going to tell you how to actually build your defense because this is something that I learned recently, and I want to make sure that everybody knows what's what, what, what they're doing. So um, first, let's go look at my... Um, battle report. Uh, let me see here. And I want to show you what happened when I got hit with all my T14s um, in the castle. So, at first glance, woohoo, what a victory, right? I mean, well, not really. I got the Glory of Warrior and Lucky Favor, but if you see the power differential, I lost 270 million power. This guy only lost 150 million. You know, um, still pretty good defense against a player with 3.3 billion. I think he was like K37, and here I am at, at the time. I was 770 million and K35. You say, well, look at all these troops, and oh, I only had 2.4 million killed. He had 2.1 million killed. But then when we go into the battle detail and see what actually happened, you're going to notice, look at this at the top. My T-14 mounted, not a single one survived. All of them ended up dead. I had my hospital filled during SVS. That's why they, so I could use Source of Life. And they only killed 1.1 thousand, and they lost all this. So clearly the T1 mounted wall didn't really protect these high level troops, not even the T13. Um, and to be honest, not even the T12 mounted troops. Um, in fact, not even the T11 mounted troops. So if you go down the list, you can see the mounted got slaughtered because I was going against a range march. But if you keep going down, you're going to notice a little bit of a surprise down here. Look at this T1 mounted, zero, 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 literally none, not a single dead troop, and they did all the killing, look at that, 2.5 million kills. So the mounted wall works, but they don't protect your high level mounted troops from getting wiped out first. So after further investigation, after further talk with other players that are more experienced than me came to the conclusion that when you're facing, let's see what the attacker had. Oh, look, he had a ranged march. Look at this. T14 ranged. You can see he had 300,000 total. He had T13 range, um, about 300,000 total. And then um, T12 range, he had about 2 million total. So his it, the main battle here was the T12 range with a little bit of help from the T13 and T14 range coming in, and the first thing they did was wipe out all my T14, my T13, my T12 mounted troops. 
And then all of a sudden the T1 mounted wall wakes up and says, oh, we're being attacked. And so they just easily, without a single, look at that, not even one, not even, zero wounded, zero dead, mounted um, T1s. So they, they, the, the 150, uh, and that is thanks to, as you maybe saw in my previous videos, my wall general and my refines on my Fafnir dragon that I have on the wall. But I mean, honestly, this T1 wall works perfectly, but it doesn't protect your T14 mounted troops or your T13 mounted troops or your T12 or your even your T11. Let's just say it doesn't protect any of the higher tier mounted. They start at the top and they work their way down, not the other way around. Look at this. Even the T8s got killed. The T7s got killed. Look at that. Even the T5s got wiped out. I mean, come on. The T4s, T3s, T2s, not even those were safe. So basically, as you can see, the ranged troops, in particular T12, are going to work their way down from 14. And we're not going to look into the ground and range troops and all that because that, that's beside the point, or the siege. As you can see, I had zero wounded on the siege beside, and, and look, zero dead on the siege, 12, 11, 10, zero wounded, nine, zero wounded, um, eight, zero wounded, seven, zero wounded. So I didn't lose any siege either. In fact, it wasn't until you get down to T4 siege that I even had some dead siege. So the point being is that, yes, the siege defense works perfectly against a range march. The um, mounted uh, defense works, uh, the T1 mounted defense works perfect against a range march. But before the siege really start killing, and before the mount T1 mounted troops really start killing, um, the range are just going to go straight to those mounted troops and just wipe them out. So, I did a lot of searching, and I said, how in the world am I going to stop these T14 um, mounted troops that I have so many of? Yes, you can ghost them, okay. But that's not always a perfect solution because sometimes, you know, sometimes you 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 get hit right as you teleported or right as you're about to teleport, and 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 you have the you 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 want a backup. I, the ghosting, yes, ghosting is the number one option. Ghosting is a perfect defense. Hey, even better than ghosting is keeping your bubble on. But what if you're unbubbled in SVS, and what if you're ghosting and and they just hit you at that perfect time? How, how do you how do you defend in worst case scenario? from having your mounted troops wiped out. So what I was told and what makes sense and from what, I, what I've learned is you really need to have layers. And if you look at my troop details, I'm going to start making these. But basically what you want, essentially, is you want to have from T1 to T10, you want to have roughly... Um, 100,000 of each, and T11, you want to have 500,000 of each, and then T12, you want to have a million of each troop type, and then T13, you want about 700,000 of each troop type, and T14, you want about 600,000. That was the start that I was told and I'm working on. Um, shout out to my friend from another server. Um, I believe I have him in here that I can show you who is the one to give credit to whose credit is due. Uh, this guy right here, uh, Mega Scorp at the bottom. But anyway, um, This is the defense that I was taught recently, and I'm working on it. And I think from what I've been told is that if you have a properly layered defense with enough T14, T13, T12, T11, and so on and so forth, 
Specifically, you need to get those layers all the way up to having T14 of every troop type. Range, ground, mounted, um, siege. Um, you have to have T14 of every troop type. And that will be a better protection for your mounted troops, having a full layers. Now, it's not necessarily going to be perfect and, and have, um, you know, I'll keep you guys updated on how this defense works in the future. But as you can see, my stables are at 35, but my archer camp's only at 30. My barracks are at 30, and my workshop's at 30. So I can only make T12 right now. I mean, again, bear with me. Um, this is my second account and uh, that I've played on Ebony, and this is on is about four months old. And I'm working, I'm almost to a billion power, I'm at Monarch level 32 and a half, and um, keep 35, but we'll get these buildings up, and I will share reports in the future to see how this defense works, and maybe see what kind of tweaks. But what you really need to do is if you're going to protect those mounted troops against... Um, a range attack is you need to have a wall general that really protects mounted troops. For example, Queen Badika. And you're going to want refinements on all her gear is specifically mounted troop HP to get that as high as possible to prevent them from being killed as easily. Of course, you also want um, to buff up your other troop types as well. But basically, point of being of this video is to make sure that you know don't make the same mistake I did in thinking that just having a T1 mounted wall of 150 million and having millions and millions of siege, that somehow that was just going to stop, you know, a ranged marched cold in its tracks from wiping out all your high level mounted. Yes, it works against ranged. Of course it does. But it doesn't stop the range from doing some damage beforehand. What you really need is layers, and they could be different. You could have a million of each layer, or two million of each layer, or it depends how much money you have and how much time you have to spend on the game, of course, to how big your layers are going to be, but it's to, it's a it's a start to have, to shoot for, you know, a million of each T12, you know, 700,000 of each T13 and 600,000 of each T14 because honestly um, this is that is how um, you're going to start having layers that are hard to penetrate you know from a, from a solo march but of course it really depends on buffs too so you want to have as high buffs as possible okay thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video